Hello. In this video, we're going to look at setting up a FileMaker robot station so we can print PDFs from WebDirect uh, for Seed Code Complete. We really like the way our Seed Code Complete layouts have come out on WebDirect, and we've got really good functional parity between Seed Code Complete on the desktop and uh, on WebDirect. We've got these nice little browser windows that launch when you need to look up an address. We've got our popovers and our little uh, preview badges work nicely for contacts and for projects here. So we, uh, we really like all that. Um, our navigation of our panels down here works nicely. But one thing we can't do in WebDirect is we can't generate PDFs and we can't print from preview mode in the way that we're used to doing in FileMaker. So if I wanna create an invoice, on WebDirect, I can't really create the document for it that, that I may want to send to my customer. So we want to have a way to do that. Um, you know, PDF uh, print uh, generation is not supported on the server because the server is headless. It, it doesn't really understand layouts like the client does, so we can't reconstruct uh, preview mode. So it's a real technical challenge to have that. Um, there are people, you can use a plugin and there are some other server-side techniques we think the easiest way to do this is to set up a robot station using FileMaker Pro or FileMaker Pro Advanced. And we've actually uh, pre-configured our settings section so you can use uh, a copy of Seed Code Complete to do this. Um, all you really need to do is to go here to PDF Robot and go over to this layout by pressing Start. And as of this moment, the PDF Robot is running. And if a WebDirect client tries to generate a PDF, uh, it'll be generated here and stored in the uh, container field so the WebDirect client can uh, grab it. So I want to uh, point out the technique we're using because I, I still think this is so cool. We learned about this at DevCon, the 2014 DevCon, and I have a link to this page here. But it, the idea is being able to trigger a script on another client using the on record load script trigger. Uh, if they have a session record and you delete their, their session record, you can trigger uh, a, the script trigger, the on record load script trigger to fire for them. So I, I urge anybody who's interested in this to check out this article. I think it's one of the uh, more clever things I've seen uh, in the FileMaker world in a while. So uh, really psyched to be able to use this technique in it. And for our purposes, it works perfectly. So. I'm going to go back to the client. We've got it here. So here I've got a whole bunch of session records. Um, and since we really just have one client that we need to worry about getting triggered on, we don't need to get too fancy with that. So the P the experience on WebDirect is really nice. I'm going to hit cre Create PDF. It tells me that it's going to try to generate it. We say OK. And we see that the client is bouncing back there. The trigger has been triggered. The PDF's been generated. I get a little success message here. And then these uh, interactive containers uh, on WebDirect give you the nice link. And so when I click it, here's my invoice document, and I can print it or save it to whatever station I'm on. So a really nice uh, WebDirect experience uh, while using the client. And again, a really uh, slick way of doing it, uh, thanks to these guys on ClickWorks. We really, really like uh, having this incorporated in here. And it's nice because, there, again, there's no loops running in here. There's a single uh, script trigger running on here and, and no plugins. So it's actually a pretty uh, simple technique. It's just a matter of uh, attaching those PDF generation scripts to the trigger here. And then once I stop this robot, all I have to do is leave the layout, um, and it's not running as a robot anymore. So, uh, again, we really... Uh, like that, we think that's going to offer a huge amount of value to people who need to be able to generate uh, PDFs from WebDirect uh, in the field. All right, thanks very much for watching.